everyone. So this is pregnancy week five. I will be six weeks actually tomorrow, but I'm going to um, do these every week on a Saturday and post them on Saturday night. And I'll do my belly shots every Saturday. Um, my weeks change over on Sundays. So um, I figure I'll do them like at the very end of the week so that you guys can um, get an update of like what all happened in the week. Um, today I got my pregnancy journal and I had the same pregnancy journal with Ella. I couldn't find really one different that I liked. Um, so I got this one again. Um, and I have one, the one from Ella still as well. And I just like that one because it gives you, um, like the little tabs like childbirth journal, pregnancy organizer, um, and then your pregnancy journal. And it gives you like all the little like places to, um, write down what's going on for that week. Um, anyways, but before she gets down, I just wanted to show you that my dog is back. She was missing for a month, but she's back. This is Chloe. And she was missing for a month out in the wilderness, basically. Um, and we just can't believe that she survived. So she was with me. We got her about a month before I got pregnant with Ella. And I just couldn't imagine, like, life without her. So we are so glad to have her back. But anyways, like I was saying about the pregnancy journal. Um, I really like this one because... It gives you like for um, like the weeks and stuff it gives you like the open areas for each day so this will help me as far as like making these videos too um, and remembering like what happened on what days but my symptoms this week have been just waves of nausea still not too bad and I haven't thrown up or anything but my my nausea started with Ella like um, beginning of weeks six I think two or three days into week six so I'm just kind of patiently waiting to see if it does happen I'm kind of nervous about you know how this um, the nausea is gonna be if it's gonna be like I'm throwing up and stuff but anyways um and then as far as like cravings I've been having cravings for a lot of bread and like salty foods and stuff and a lot of people have told me that like the old wives tell says that you're having a boy if you crave all these things, but I don't know. I don't really believe in those things. Um, we will be doing Intelligender at 10 weeks, so that will be the end of November, I guess. So anyways, um, and then as far as like food aversions, I don't have any right now. With Ella, it was any, any meat at all, like pork and the only thing I think I really ate was chicken. So, um, Anyways, and then I have had some lower back aches, which it kind of makes you nervous when you have like little back aches and stuff. Any little like pain down there, it, like kind of makes you nervous. Um, I was having back aches on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and then yesterday and today I haven't had any. And um, but they were like in my lower back, all the way down my butt, and it just. I slept with the snuggle pillow, the snuggy pillow, for two nights. Wednesday night was the worst, um, and that's the night that we found Chloe. And um, that that night it was just so bad. Um, and I don't know, like, if my uterus was growing or something or what was going on, but it went away. And I didn't have any like cramps or um, like major cramps or spotting with that. Like I have like little cramps every now and then, but that's just kind of a normal thing, I think kind of like everything's growing and nesting and everything so um anyways that's about it for my symptoms as far as that goes um my belly hasn't really changed of course and um and my upcoming appointment is in two weeks my ultrasound and all that is november 15th so i will be i'm i'll be so happy when i actually see the baby and the heartbeat and all that um because it just, I think, like, the first trimester, you're just so nervous and you're so worried about what the outcome is going to be. And, like, for me, I just kind of cherish every day because I just don't know what the next day is going to bring. And, um, so, anyways, but Ella has, we have told Ella about it. And she, like, every now and then will kiss my belly and stuff. And so that's pretty cute. Um, I will post a picture at the end of this video of my belly. I'm not going to really do belly shots until probably another couple weeks, like actual like 
belly belly shots um, because it's just not change. Uh, it's just not changing um, right now, of course. Um, when it starts really, really training out, it's probably when I'll do like the live shots. But for now, I'm just going to put pictures at the end. Um, so anyways, but I think that's really it. This wasn't a really long um, update, but there wasn't really that much that was going on this week. Just the back aches, the ways of nausea, um, and that's really it. And the cravings for like, oh, and I'm hungry all the time. With Ella, I didn't want to eat anything, but um, with this pregnancy, I just want to eat everything. And I can be like not hungry at one time and then hungry um, the next minute, starving. Um, and the other thing is too, I've been peeing and peeing and peeing. Like with Ella, I didn't hardly pee at all. Like um, I didn't have to like make ten thousand trips to the bathroom, but this pregnancy I do. I don't know if that's because I've been like drinking a lot of water. Um, and I get really thirsty, so I have to keep drinking and drinking and drinking and drinking. Like today, I haven't had as much water as I'm like I usually do, so I'm kind of thirsty right now. So, anyways, but um, if you guys have any questions for me, just let me know. And thanks for watching.